Welcome students. I hope you all are in good health. Today we will learn about evolution of mankind. This video would also be helpful for the students who don't have their books. So let us get started. Sometimes we wonder and question ourselves how was the planet Earth formed? How we humans came into existence? And who was the first person to step on this planet? In order to know this, we must go through the story of human evolution. Anthropologists and archaeologists have traced human history. Now, who are these people? So, anthropologists are the people who study humanity, wherein archaeologists are the people who study past by analyzing materials. These people studied and talked about human history. They talked about how human beings have passed through a long process of evolution. What is evolution? Evolution means the change that human beings have gone through. Now children, if you look at this picture from left to right, you will see we have evolved from ape-like ancestors to the present form. Now we are able to walk straight and known as Homo erectus. And we also have the ability to think. Therefore, we are known as Homo sapiens. Children, now I will be talking about early humans. So as I have told you about anthropologists and archaeologists who studied about early humans, they told us early humans were like sister groups of old world monkeys. Their bodies were covered with hair and they could not walk straight. They moved from one place to another for food and shelters. Their lifestyle and physical appearances were completely different from ours. But with time, they developed and brought a better life. Sources and Evidences Archaeological Sources Archaeological sources include all the physical evidences of past that includes monuments, bones, fossils, etc. Sources and evidences are the proofs of early men existence. The first evidences are tools. Scientists found these sharp tools made up of stones. They might have used it for hunting or cutting purposes. Next is fossils. Fossils are also preserved evidences. For example, we know about dinosaurs existence as we found the remains of dinosaurs which include bones, teeth, etc. Animal bones. In order to find out what people ate in the past and what kind of species existed that time, these evidences were very useful. Next is 
pottery, artifacts, cave paintings, jewelry. These are the cultural items of evidences and they gave information about the lifestyle and customs of early men. Megaliths. These are huge stones dug at most burial sites. They inform us about the religious beliefs and customs of the early men. Next is shelters. The evidences of their shelters have shown that they used woods, branches, etc. to make their homes. This can be predicted by carbon dating. Now what is carbon dating? So children, carbon dating is a technique to know the age of archaeological sources. If you look at these pictures of coins, you will see there are images and alphabets inscribed on the coins. These sources help us to know about the age or about the ruler ruling that time. The study of coins is called numismatics. Similarly, old buildings and monuments help us to know about the lifestyle and culture of those people. Let's summarize what we have learned today in short. We have learned about early men who lived years back. We got to know about their histories by anthropologists and archaeologists. These people found evidences and sources of the past and hence depicted their lifestyle. That was all about this video. I hope you have made a better understanding of this chapter. Till then, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.